everyone is the latest kodak that promises to change how we consume content online so in this video let's talk about what everyone is a lot of technologies have to work together in a harmony just so you can stream online content just like here in youtube video kodak is one of those technology it is a compressing algorithm or a compressing technology where it compresses a video footage as much as it can while retaining as much quality as it can uncompressed 1080p video gets as large as 8.4 gigabytes per minute and storing that uncompressed 1080p file not even storing uploading it streaming it online can be very hard and dare i say very impractical and that's the reason we have video kodak there are already some video codecs that are in use like h.264 h.265 or known as hevc now the question is if we already have these codecs then why we should use av1 because it comes with few key features that are very attractive first it is open source it is developed by ao media which is a open source alliance for video formats and everything so no matter you are a small company or a big company if you want to use av1 video codec for your compressing technology well you can use it totally free on the other hand hevc requires a specific licensing agreement rather than storing each frame information and compressing it av1 uses a very simple technology it groups pixels together and then compresses it the groups are either 64 by 64 or 128 by 128 and then they are further subdivided into 4 by 4 pixels which results in more quality using the same bitrate or same quality while requiring less space not only that it supports wide range of color gamut in 4k hdr and it also have the capability of 8k streaming netflix have been using this av1 video codec for their whole streaming platform from 2021 not only netflix a lot of other companies like meta for their instagram reels have been using using av1 kodak and also youtube have now support for av1 a lot of hardware that you already might own have that av1 decoder built in nvidia's 4000 series and amd's 7000 series have that decoder also intel arc not only that the last generation playstation have av1 capable hardware you don't have to worry about your hardware you just have to worry about will the streaming platforms adopt av1 and i must say it's not a question of will it's just a question of when they will start to use av1 because it comes with a lot of feature it comes with efficiency better quality and as i said it's open source i love things that are open source so this was a very short and introductory explanation for av1 now there are technologies algorithms that are in use for av1 to work which i haven't talked about in this video because then it would be super technical and i think you just need to know that it requires less storage gives you better quality how it's doing it we don't care about that <laughs> we are getting good performance at better efficiency that's what we want and if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and again if you want to subscribe here it is until then this is akash i'll see you guys in the next one peace